join me on a very sunny, beautiful, stunning Sunday. We've just had a new dishwasher. It feels like a very like day. We've just had a new dishwasher. It just got delivered and installed. It's now running its like empty run and then we can start using it. We haven't had a fully functional dishwasher for a while. The previous dishwasher used to like break all the time and then the door didn't close. And now it's a big day in the, in the Katie and Alex household. I've made a smoothie. I've read some of my book. I've read about 100 pages this morning. So I'm now kind of about that far through. It's not the most Instagrammy book I've ever read. It's a blunt alien invasion of Earth and it's called The Fifth Wave. But I am quite enjoying it. I picked it up from the charity shop and I do sometimes like the odd book that is not like loved and renowned because the rest of the things that are on my TBR list are like Ali Hazelwood, Emily Henry, Lucy Score, The Cruel Prince. Like they're all like books that people love. So I quite like reading like a little bit of a rando in there every so often. So I've been sat on the balcony reading. I came in just like cool off a little bit and I think I'm going to head back out and read again. And so I put my sunglasses back on my face. I've pinned my hair back with just a little claw clip. I actually picked this one up when we were in Delft in the Netherlands. So pretty sure they sell this kind of clip everywhere these days. So I'm gonna take my smoothie, grab my very summery, wholesome read and head out on the balcony. I do have some like actual productive stuff to be getting on with another date. But if you've watched the work nine to five vlog before this, you'll know that I currently can't walk very well. So I've injured my leg, well I've injured my knee more specifically. So I actually can't walk particularly well. I haven't left the flat since Thursday. So I do want to head out today. I can't really walk any distance, but I do want to head out today and maybe like go sit in a pub garden or something just to get a slight change of scenery. But until then, I'm going to take my smoothie. I'm going to take my book and at least go out on the balcony, which I haven't been able to do for the last two days because the weather's been absolute pants. So... I've just got a little bit more ready so that I can film an empties video. And the next thing I need to do is take my nail polish off because no one needs to see that. So I'm just gonna use some nail polish remover. These are just the super drug nail polish removing pads. I tend to use two, one on one hand and one on the other. And they're actually pretty good. Oh my God, I forgot this like, I put it on top of another color. And then, yeah, I need to film an empties. I've got a decent bucket now of empties. Probably not gonna edit it until the way up to Scotland, depending on how we are looking in terms of videos, etc. So I don't know when it'll be out in relation to these, but I absolutely freaking love filming empties. So for those of you who've never heard of it, it's basically where you review all your finished beauty products. So like makeup, hair care, skincare, and then obviously you can say whether or not you'd be purchased it because you finished it. And I used to do them on my blog back when I used to have like a written blog and I used to absolutely love writing them. And obviously now I've got YouTube, I film them. They used to be like the videos that I always used to watch back in the day. And then I think when we finish this, we're gonna head out and find a pub or something like that and then go sit outside, maybe with a drink, maybe read our books, maybe chat, we don't know. It is much later. It is now nine o'clock. Just finished editing the books, the reading vlog, which took me so much time. There was about six hours of footage. I then edited it down to an hour long video. And now it's a half an hour long video, which I feel like is quite good length. Anything that's longer than that is just a bit too much. <laughs> so that took me pretty much most of the afternoon once we got back from the pub. So, oh yeah, did I explain that? We went to the pub. Basically I went for a walk. I tried to go for a walk. I couldn't actually walk too fast or too far. I wanted to go outside. So we walked to the park down the road from the flat. I couldn't really walk too far and it was starting to get quite uncomfortable. So we like veered into the pub. 
I had a couple of pints of coke. We shared a camembert, which was like absolutely delicious. And then we came back. So a bit of a weird mid-afternoon pub snack slash visit. I'm going to wash my face because I spent most of the evening editing one video. I'm going to import it, sort out the footage and then begin editing the next one so I can get some like basically get ahead of myself a little bit because I keep editing the video to go out that same day or the following day and it's getting a little bit too much so I'm gonna try and get ahead of my little self a little bit. I've also painted my nails in this kind of like blue it's from Essie and tomorrow I've put myself over a haircut because <sighs> I've been cutting in my fringe for the last while, so my fringe isn't too bad, but the ends are just getting a little bit like scraggly. You know when like ends of your hair just need like a like a trim. So the last trim I had was a few weeks before we got married, and Alex and I have been married now for seven months itch seven eight months so it's been a while got my hair cut last september it is now june <laughs> so yeah i am got my hair cut just to tidy up the ends i'm going during lunch tomorrow so little haircut booked tomorrow and i'm just gonna wash my face climb into bed i'm not entirely sure what today is gonna be is it interesting i'm not really sure Today is Monday, it is half past seven in the morning and I am getting ready to go to work. So sometimes we work from home on a Monday and sometimes we go to the office. And I think today is an office day because I've got some like big budget things to do which just is easier to do with a second screen. And we're going, well I'm going to get a haircut at lunchtime at a hairdresser's around the corner from the office. And then we're going to Uniqlo this evening and potentially Primark to buy some bits for our upcoming holiday. So many reasons why a trip into the office is a necessity. It just means obviously I have to get ready a little bit earlier because I have to like get to the office. I'm not gonna be doing my like lovely long walk today because I still have like a poorly knee. So I'm gonna be going straight there, which does mean my commute will be shorter because I don't have to like go around the houses and go via anything in particular. Yeah, I'm up, I'm showered. My hair is like relatively clean. I probably would be like scraping it back into a bun or something at this point, but I'm obviously getting a haircut. I haven't washed it since Friday now and it's Monday. So it's, um. Looking a bit worse for wear, but it will do. So I'm gonna pack up, I'm gonna put my book in my bag, currently reading the fifth wave, and then gather all my stuff together and head off to work. I don't have anything to bring with me in terms of like prepped lunch or anything. I might head out for lunch at like half 12, take Alex to like a little Italian place around the corner. I'm gonna go and enjoy myself. I don't know at what point I decide that my knee should be better by now. It is, the weather is okay. It's not giving like the best weather ever. I've got my trousers on from my suit and then I've got a white t-shirt on which is from Amazon. So these are from, I can't remember, I bought them via ASOS and then this is from Amazon. Don't know what I'm gonna wear jacket weather. It feels a little bit O2 ATT to wear the suit. these. I basically went to Uniqlo with the intention of buying trousers that I could wear to like the office. Probably not with this top but like I could wear to the office but I could also wear as like trousers for the walk slash the hike. I think, I think these are a go. So I also bought the second book for Colleen Hoover after it ends with us. Didn't actually realise there was a second book and then when I discovered there was I had to read it so I bought that. I then got this top because I just thought it was really cool although I've crumpled it up. It's just a button up top and this kind of like creamy colour. I bought one of the crossbody bags because 
I've always, always wanted one. Like, I go to a couple of festivals in the summer because I work on them. And then when I go to them, I've always needed, like, a little, a little, like, unassuming bag that can fit all of my stuff. And you can fit a book in there because I checked. And then I wasn't in there for these, but then I saw them. All of my other jean shorts I have have, like, the cuffs at the end, which means they cannot, they can be a little bit restrictive. But I thought I'd buy these. They're in a 32-inch waist and I'm probably a 31, but they didn't seem to have any 31. So I went with a 32. They've got a nice bit of length on them. So they're like, they cover everything needs covering. So that's what I picked up from Uniqlo. This is just my jacket. Obviously I didn't buy the book from Uniqlo. I bought the book from my bookshop. God, these trousers are comfortable. This is, this is the haircut. It's cut more to one length. So any of you haven't been around here long enough for my last hair rant, I used to have them frequently. I got a haircut once where I asked for layers and she said, what's length layers? And I was like, I don't know, medium length layers? Cause I didn't really know the answer. And she cut in the shortest layers I think I've ever seen. My hair was about this length at the time and the layers were about here and they weren't really blended. So I had basically a two stepped haircut. I don't think I've ever hated a haircut more in my life. And I know I probably should have said something. I'm very aware you don't need to lecture me. I'm British. I don't like confrontation. And I will just say it looks great and leave. I don't think it's the fault of the hairdresser. Very much the fault of me not knowing what I wanted. Very aware of that. But I've been growing it out and I went to the hairdressers today. Pretty much all my layers have grown out now. So there's like a little bit of a shape at the end, which is kind of what I do want. But otherwise, my hair is pretty much all one length. She tidied up my fringe. She said my fringe was cut very well, which considering I cut my fringe myself, yeah, I've been cutting my own fringe for absolutely ever. And then what I think I'm gonna do after dinner is edit. So because obviously we're going away, I have no idea what the Wi-Fi situation is gonna be while we're up in Scotland. So I'm trying to pre-film slash edit some videos. Pardon me. Not only, let me just reach this first. Not only are you balanced on a bin on the loo, but I'm sat on the bathroom floor sorting out empties. <laughs> so the next task is taking all these products, which are now in here really neatly, and sorting them out. So I have three sections. I have says you can recycle on the bottom of the bottle. I have makeup empties, which live in here, because yes, I keep all my makeup empties until the end of the year. And then I have, it doesn't say you can recycle it. And every four months or so, I take the says you can't recycle it bottles to Boots and you can recycle them there. So let's go. Yeah, I filmed, I've edited two reels. Yeah, I'm now sat on the floor sorting through rubbish. <laughs> what is my life? My knee hurts so so badly and it's kind of making me quite sad because I was really hoping it would have recovered for me to go to Scotland but I genuinely think it's gonna still be an issue. So like for example this Kiehl's serum doesn't have the recycle logo anywhere on it. Part of me thinks it's because they sell it in multiple countries and different countries have different recycling rules. But also this must be quite a difficult thing to recycle. So this is gonna go in my difficult to recycle pile. The other thing I do is track how many makeup empties I finish in a year because I've got a bit of a target. So there's actually quite a lot of the products out here and I've realised I don't have my phone on me. The problem is getting up off the floor at the moment is not an easy feat because my knee hurts. Three, two, one. Oh! <sighs> right. So we have one, two, three foundations. One blush, which is my first ever blush empty and I'm very out of frame. Uh, two brow products, a mascara, and then a lip balm, which I think comes in as lipstick. As we approach the halfway point of the year, I finished 21 makeup items. This time last year I finished, well, this, at the end of last year I finished 41, which puts me, I want to finish 
50 items by the end of the year puts me 42% of the way through my goal and we're apparently 42.3% of the way through the year. I would say that's on track. Yes, all my makeup lives in this box. Do not tell Alex that we'll be moving with the box. <laughs> and at the end of the year, I'm gonna do a mega wrap up of all my makeup empties, especially as a lot of them have been linked to Project 10 Pan. If which if you haven't seen, you better. And now this can go in empty under the sink. I just emptied it and I've just finished an empty. So I finished the Bioma Deep Puff and Brightening Eye Gel. So it gets filled back up again. So let's pick an eye cream to replace the one that I finished. I think eye creams, yeah, they're in here. So this is my little collection of eye creams. I've got the Biosense Squalene Eye Cream, which is very tempting. One of the Anew, which is Avon skincare line um, C complex. This one was gifted. I've got the AHC Essential Eye Cream for face. <laughs> Don't know where else your eyes would be. Medic Crystal Retinol Ceramide Eye Cream. And then this little eye serum. I think I might go for this one, you know. This is the AHC Essential Real Eye Cream for face. I've never really heard of this brand. I feel like this must have been either in an advent calendar or something. But I'm going to give this a go. Don't know much about it. This drawer is looking empty all around. But yeah, I'm going to give this one a go. And I'll let you know how I get on.